one thing people always like to add is player information to their tagging panel. So see here I have a, a rugby tagging panel, but obviously it can be added to any tagging panel you have. So at the bottom I have all my events at the top, my outcomes, and then at the very bottom I have a, a player box with just players one to six listed here. Okay, so I'm going to show you in this how to add this information in. So the first thing we'll do is I'll open one. This is one before. This is with no team. So you'll see it's just my tagging panel and my events as standard. So the first thing I do is I click on edit. I'll just maximize that screen. Now there's two main parts. You'll see on the left hand side here with the team management, you have two different buttons that to drag and drop, two different items. So there's two main sections. The one on the left is, is purely for adding the players. So the first thing I want to do, it's not used in the tagging itself. So I normally put this out of the way. So it's, it's not on my tagging panel page. So the first step I recommend is at the very top, you'll see game action. I just click to add new page. I get a blank page. I don't need to worry about anything other than dragging and dropping that team manager in there. Okay. I don't need to add any information here. The only thing I'll ask you to note is the item ID, which is team selector zero. We'll come back to that in a minute. So I'll go back to my tagging panel page and at the very bottom, I'm going to add the second element, which is this team group box. So I drag and drop the team group box just below everything else into the white space and I let go. Okay, so if you scroll down now, you'll see I have team group box and just one blue button in there. So now we'll look at some of the elements that we can change. Okay, so item ID we can ignore. Label, it's purely cosmetic, but if I double click on label, I can then type in something I want. So I'm going to add player, and you'll see then when I click off it, that the player information is added. Okay, the next one is style. So if I double click on style, you'll see that the colors color of the button will change okay very simply you can go through the repertoire and I'll stick with blue the next one is the button type now what I recommend is you stick with value what this means is that you will press an event then its outcome and then the player name the difference between there is four different options here but uh, mainly it's between value or event so hopefully you understand the difference between an event and a value. Basically a value will add information to another event or an event is totally separate on its own piece of information. I tend to say if you're starting stick with value and uh, I suppose if you have any questions about which one you should use it's just pop a question to me and I'll, I'll hopefully be able to answer it. The next ones are the important ones. Okay so if you double click on team you'll get this little pop-up window that appears okay and you'll scroll down you'll have all sorts of different elements in it now they're all listed alphabetically so if you go down to T you'll see team manager and right beside it you'll see team selector zero which is what I asked you to note there so that's the one we want so we just tick that and we click OK and the very last one we need to add is category so double click on category and again it's up to you what you want to call it but I'm going to go with player Okay, that's it. So we can click X and we do want to save. So now you can see that's our tagging panel. And now all I've got is a player information at the bottom, but I don't have any players. So how do we add players? Well, let's go up to the second tab, which is our untitled tab. And you'll see this team manager box here. Now you add the information to this team manager always in the tagging panel itself. So let's click on the green plus. When I hover over, you'll see it says add team so click on that and I can double click on name and I can change the team name if I want so I can call that um, let's go with United okay and you'll see my team is called United and if any stage I want to edit that I can just click the pencil and again double click and I can change it to whatever I want so back to team one let's say and click OK there's my team one now to add the players it's the same process but it's the other green plus and again, when you hover over, it'll tell you add team manager. So click on that. And again, same thing, double click on name. And if you want, you can change the name to John or whatever it is. I'm going to stick with player one just to keep 
nice and simple okay and I'm gonna do the same and I'm gonna add each player and I'll just click OK as I go through okay so there's five and we'll add a sixth so there's my six players in and that's all I want at this stage you'll notice now if I click on the game action page there's still no players in there all I have to do is just tick the players that are playing what this allows you to do is it allows you to name your entire panel and you only have to do this process once so you'd name your 20 30 players once and then all you have to do is just tick whoever is playing on that day so you'll see I've all six ticked and I go to game action all six are in if I come back next week and I don't want to analyze player three or player four when I untick them and go back to game action you'll see now I only have player one two five and six so you only name your panel once and then each week you can just take whoever's playing so it's a very simple process and it becomes just the third tier of your tagging so you'd go scrum scrum outcome player any questions at all please just post a comment or send me an email or give me a call and I'll uh, hopefully be able to answer them for you